Lights, camera, action. So I did a list on the best moments from Total Drama Island, so it makes sense to do another one now in Total Drama Action. It takes place on an abandoned film lot somewhere in Toronto, Ontario, and it follows the same format as Total Drama Island, with 15 contestants from last season participating in movie-themed challenges on separate teams to win a million dollars. While it's not as great as the first one, it's still pretty damn good. I can prove it by showing you the best moments throughout the entire season, but which ones are the best? I'm Total Drama Ricky, and here are the top 10 best moments in Total Drama Action. Number 10. Look, I really don't like Trent. I'm sorry, but I really don't like Trent. He's just a really lame, bland, and boring character. And in Total Drama Action, it's not much better. Actually, it's worse. But in the episode 310 to Crazy Town, this happened. <laughs> that had to hurt. That was uncool. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Number nine. If you thought that the WWF brawl for all was bad, well. Seconds left. Oh! There's the right hand, folks. It's over. Goodbye. It's over. It's still bad, but this fight between Lindsay and Harold makes it look faker than it already is. On the episode Million Dollar Babies, Harold from the Screaming Gaffers and Lindsay from the Killer Grips fight in a boxing match where they have to do in a slow motion while wearing marshmallow boxing gloves. And trust me, it makes Rocky V look like shit. You're going down. Yeah, he has a lot of experience getting hit. And of course, Chris McClain makes this reference joke. Very unsportsmanlike, Ms. Tyson. Ooh, burn. Number eight. It's time for Izzy vs. Chef Hatchet 2.0. These two just won't stop, eh? In the episode Alien Resurrection, the contestants go through a movie set based on the Aliens movies, trying to escape from Chef Hatchet dressed as an alien with a paintball gun. However, Easy challenges him and pulls out her own paintball guns. Where did she get those guns? And start a small paintball war. But Chef dodges her shots and then... Oh, not again. <laughs> I thought you were dead. Yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> Number seven. Have you watched any other cartoons by Fresh TV like Stoked or 16? Well, if you did, you'll probably get this reference. In the episode Dal M for Merger, the team's now split up and everyone is on their own. However, this part was... unexpected. Life begins after school That's when we bend all the rules In a place where we belong I'm 16 I'll admit, this was a nice touch from Fresh TV. Nice one, guys. Number six. Yes, Lindsay is beautiful, nice, and not the brightest in the world. But this was one of her best moments. In the episode Get a Clue, a personal favorite, the competitors try to figure out who was the one that murdered Chris, who obviously is a dummy. However, they stupidly believe that Duncan is the suspect, but Lindsay manages to find that Courtney is the one since her cheesy fingerprints were on a napkin on the floor. Here, we have a suspicious napkin covered on opposite ends with some kind of orange powder, as though it was held like a murder weapon. And here we have Courtney eating a bag of orange cheesies, which she refused to share. Therefore, Courtney was the only one to have orange cheesy fingers. Oh, this is ridiculous. Really? The prints don't lie. Man, I love Lindsay in this episode. Number five, speaking of Courtney, guess who's back in the game? In the episode Ocean's 8 or 9, Duncan, Harold, and Heather try to break Lashana out of the safe, but leaves her as revenge for taking their reward from the Doctor movie challenge. This badass scene comes in and then... Anything else I can do for you today? Duncan? <laughs> yep, this CIT has returned total drama, and she's hotter than ever. And a little annoying, honestly. Number four. Why does every time Duncan annoy Courtney, he always gets the pain through his kiwis? <laughs> but this scene from the episode Rock and Roll is no exception. Duncan literally gets hit in the coconuts with a guitar by Courtney. And trust me, Duncan's scream made me laugh till I was on the floor. That hard enough, baby doll? Number three. Yeah, 
Lindsay dressing like Wonder Woman? She just looks so cute with her costume. In the episode Superheroid or Hero ID, uh, I don't know. The contestants use spandex and other parts of clothing to create their own superhero costumes, from Captain Alberta to the Human Cricket. Lindsay's costume so far was the funniest because it's based on DC's Wonder Woman. I'm Wonder Woman! Wonder Woman already exists! She doesn't even look like that. Not so fast. I'm liking the costume. What's your superpower? Duh! I wonder a lot. Oh, and I have an invisible jet right here. Or did I leave it over there? Just think what would happen if Lindsay was in the Wonder Woman movie. <coughs> Number two. DJ is a great guy to hang around with even though he is sensitive. Unfortunately, he was forced to make an illegal alliance with Chef Hatchet so they could split the million dollars. So instead of being with his teammates, he would be in the kitchen helping Chef or during the challenges, Chef would attempt to help DJ win for his team. But the best part was him finally admitting about the alliance and deciding to leave the competition on his terms and for his mama. DJ, <laughs> why don't you and I have a chat before you do anything stupid? No, Chef, I'm not listening to you anymore. Chef and me, we had an illegal alliance. <gasps> He's been tutoring me and tough, coaching me through the challenges. I'll miss you all. Dude, you can't leave. Yeah, can't we just vote Chef off instead? I'm sorry, but I gotta make it right for Mama. Aww. Isn't that nice? Number one. I'll admit, the ending was a bit underwhelming, especially the fact that Lindsay was supposed to win this season. This was because of some conflict behind the scenes, which I won't go into details at the moment. But at the time, when I was way into Total Drama at a young age, I was a huge Duncan fan. And when the winner was revealed to be... Duncan! Oh, yeah! That moment literally made me jump out of my fat ass and celebrate it as one of my favorite characters won a season. I mean, I didn't mind if Beth won, but Duncan was awesome, so... Eh. And that's the list. Do you agree? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button because YouTube, oh boy, what are you guys are doing over there? I'm Total Drummer Ricky, and I'll see you next time.